Hi, Dr. Mori on Civilized Vitality, and this is going to be the first video in a series of junior anatomy lessons. I'm going to call it junior anatomy because I've had a request to um, provide some anatomic information in a short series of videos for uh, non-college students. I do teach anatomy at the university level uh, as one of my main jobs. been doing that for a long, long time. And... Um, we got a bunch of homeschool members from our UV, our Uncivilized Vitality Kids program, UV Kids. Uh, many, many of them are homeschooled. And some of the parents that were looking for um, rolling anatomy and some biology into their homeschool curriculum. So I agreed to start a series of junior anatomy. So this would be like for the layman to come at and get a basic idea of their uh, anatomy, how their body functions, what it's made up of, how to learn the proper terms. But we're gonna move it down um, to an even lower um, age level, age appropriate level. So we're going to go through that. Instead of terms like um, inferomedially, I'm going to say things like kind of down and toward the middle. So we'll go through there. And then after the kids have gone through that and they really enjoy it, they can go over to the Uncivilized Anatomy playlist where they're at um, kind of a, a graduate level, well, a gross anatomy, undergraduate level uh, anatomy course and then they kind of pair these videos up. So this is our first uh, first video in our junior anatomy, okay? Uncivilized anatomy. All right, so I'm going to assume my audience is younger and we're watching through this. So first let's talk about what anatomy means. So the word anatomy right? Anatomy uh, is actually a couple different words. It's got a, 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 a main word or like the, the center of the word that's tomi. And tomi means to cut. And then ana or a-n-a -A means apart, right? So to take apart or to cut apart, that's what anatomy means. The, this is from the Latin. In the, uh, the Greek version, is another word, means exactly the same thing. Uh, sect, like section, or dissect, which means to cut apart. So dissect means to cut apart. Anatomy means to cut apart. Anatomy is usually going to be taught with another uh, discipline or another science called physiology. That's a big word. Physiology just means the study of or ology, the study of nature. So basically how things work. So anatomy and physiology is the um, study of all the names of the parts of our body and how they work. So we're gonna kind of go through that little by little. And first we're gonna start with anatomy. They use that word to cut apart because to look at your body or learn all the names of the parts, you can separate it or cut it apart, not really, but just kind of think about it being taken apart into different pieces. And some of them you already probably know. Okay. Like you know that you have skin, right? This is, this is the covering that wraps us all up together. And skin has a bunch of different parts. It's got hair and nails. Uh, those are called accessory organs. It's got little glands that squirt out sweat or oil or tears, right? Uh, that skin that covers us, skin comes in lots of different colors and shades. Uh, and it does all kinds of cool stuff. It grows with you. So if you um, uh, are five years old and small, your skin fits you. And the same skin will stretch to fit you when you're in your 50s. And then maybe as you get a little older, it gets some wrinkles in it as it gets kind of worn out. You know, like your jeans or your pants sometimes get holes worn in them. Your skin gets worn out a little bit, but it can kind of grow and replace itself. You probably know that you have uh, bones, right? You have those hard parts in you, those hard, you can feel them in your forearm. You can feel the one on your shin. You can feel the, the lumpy parts where they go together at the joints, right? On your elbow. Uh, your skull is a big round bone. You can see some of your bones. These, these teeth, those are exposed pieces of bone of your skull, which is the name of the bones in your head, head and face. So you know some of your bones. You know the, the squishy, meaty part. Those are called muscles that help you move around. You've probably felt or heard your heart beat. You know some of your sensory organs that help you sort out the world, your eyes, 
your nose so you can see and smell, you can hear. So we've got all those different parts to learn. And one of the easiest ways to learn anatomy or how your body works and why it works the way it does and the names of the parts would be to figure out what uh, living things do. And then I'll talk to you about the parts that do those jobs. Like one, you have to move around, right? Living things move around. So you've got different parts of your body that help you move around. You've got things like muscles and bones and ligaments and tendons and meniscus and all sorts of uh, parts that are like where the bones and joints come together. Uh, bones and muscles come together, the joints, the bendy parts. So we'll talk about all of those things that help us move around. We also have to eat, right? We have to get we have to eat, uh, which is managing our energy. Right? We have to manage our energy, and we have a bunch of parts of our anatomy that do that. One is called our digestive system. Right? The digestive system starts at your mouth and ends at your other end. And you put food in one end and something else comes out of the other end. We'll talk about how that happens. The magic of food to poo. Uh, but you got your stomach and your liver and you got a bunch of squishy parts on the inside that help you eat food. You also have uh, lungs, which are like kind of like balloons in your chest inside that pull the air in and take some of the special gases out and put some of the waste gases in when you breathe. So that's important. It helps you manage energy. And then you have uh, something called the urinary system. This is what helps you, um, you make urine, and when you go pee, uh, or when you go poo, and you'll get rid of that waste, it's your urinary system and your digestive system that help uh, do that. So we'll talk about those parts that help you manage your energy. You're gonna need to be able to defend yourself against things like uh, infection, which happens when you get a virus or a bacteria or a yeast, a mold, a fungus, a parasite, call those things the wee beasties. And you have different parts of your anatomy that help you defend yourself. The biggest one is your skin. Skin's awesome, we're gonna talk a lot about skin. You have your skin. Another thing that helps you defend yourself is what's called your immune system. And I'll teach you how that works a little bit. We have to get down to talk about cells, but we'll get to that. And in order for your immune system to work, you have to push a bunch of fluids around. You got a special fluid called blood, and it's gonna move around. This word vasculature, don't worry about that. That's like tubes. So I'm gonna just put a little tubes, right? So your heart's a pump, it sits in the middle of the chest, and it beats and squeezes, and it's got all kinds of tubes that run through you, called arteries and veins and lymphatics. Right? So you have lymph and blood that get circulated around. We'll talk about that. If you were at summer camp earlier this year, we did a soup bone and we pulled it out. I showed you some of the arteries and veins that were in the connective tissue on that big uh, leg bone we, we cooked in the soup. So that was neat. So we'll talk about how to uh, defend yourself from getting sick uh, and by keeping your skin healthy. We'll talk about how your immune system works and we'll talk about your heart and all the tubes that pushes the blood and lymph through, because that's super interesting. Now, besides being able to move around and uh, defend yourself and eat and do all this, all of these parts of your body have to be uh, managed. Like, how do they know what to do when they do it? So you have to have a part of your body that coordinates and controls what your body is doing coordinate and control. And there's a special part of you called your nervous system. It's up, uh, mostly it's your brain and your spinal cord. This lets you see things and feel things and think things and make things happen, like move your arm or eat a sandwich. And there's another one called the endocrine system. That's a bunch of uh, chemicals we call hormones. And the endocrine system is gonna make you feel a certain way. Like if you get, um, if you're really um, happy and you're having a good time, you might be getting a lot of a, an, an endocrine product, a hormone called uh, dopamine. So you're having a good time. That's like, 
that chemical is making you, making you aware that you're having a good time. Um, if you get into an emergency, like you're up in the woods and a bear jumps out and you have to scream and run, you're going to get a dump of a chemical called adrenaline that'll make you super strong and super fast for a few minutes so you can get away. So those two systems, the nervous system, the endocrine system, help you coordinate all of these. The last thing that living things do is make copies of themselves, right? Reproductive system. So like um, my wife and I uh, made smaller people, we call our sons, we made four of them. So now we have children. And then when they grow up, they'll have children. And then when they grow, those children grow up, they'll have more children. So people make copies of themselves. And there are certain parts of your anatomy that'll uh, help you make copies of yourselves. We'll probably cover this toward the last because it's not really germane until you're an adult and you get out of junior anatomy, but we'll cover that. It's very simple. Um, parts of your body there, you have a male reproductive and a female reproductive system and they fit together a certain way and they can make children. So we'll get around to that in a little bit. Now a lot of these parts are gonna overlap but this is what we'll cover in the junior, immune, uh, junior anatomy playlist. And if there's certain topics that you want me to go into in more depth um, or more detail, the parents can just, the uncivilized parents that are using this can just leave a comment like, hey, we'd like to hear more about this. I've got a series in mind of about 45 videos or so that will outline the very basics of the body and how it works. And then I'd be happy to expand in any detail um, guided by the comments that the parents leave or questions they have. So that's it. Uh, leave us a thumbs up if you're new to the channel. Like, share, subscribe. Um, definitely leave a comment. If you're one of the homeschool parents that's going to roll the junior anatomy into your uh, curricula, let me know what things you're looking for. And I will start out each video talking a brief, um, this is what the topic's going to be today. So maybe we hit topics that your kids aren't ready for yet, or there's a special um, aspect of one of the topics you want to go over, then uh, let me know. Okay, so that's it. Uh, thanks, and uh, that's it.